So in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at my Trading212 stock portfolio. At the time of recording this video, we're currently sitting at 32,500 approximately with a return of 27%. So I'm gonna talk through some of my big winners, my big losers, if there have been any, and some of my kind of stock picks going forward. So seeing as this is my first video on my channel, I just want to make very clear that I am not a financial advisor. Anything that I do say is for entertainment purposes only here. And if you're going to invest, maybe seek out the help of a financial advisor before doing any of this. So yeah, let's, without further ado, let's get into the video. So just before we actually deep dive into some of the stocks that I have in my portfolio here, I'll just get some questions out of the way that I'm sure will come up. And it's also a good opportunity for me to kind of introduce myself a little bit as this is the first video on my channel. So I'm 24 years old. Uh, I graduated college in 2018 with a business degree and I've been working full time since. And that's when I've been able to get this money to be able to put into this trading account. So I've had this trading two and two portfolio since October, 2020, and it's now January, 2021. So only a couple of months there. So we have seen some really good gains in that time. And as I said, we'll break down exactly which stocks were kind of giving me these gains in just a couple of minutes. But prior to trading two and two, I was kind of interested in investing for about a year, I would say pretty much just before the crash came in March. So probably around February, I was starting to get interested in investing and putting small amounts away each month. I definitely did not start with a big lump sum or anything like that. I've just been investing constantly for about the past year. So around March when the kind of pandemic was, was in full swing there, luckily enough, I was able to work from home so I didn't have to stop my job or anything. So I still had that income coming in and I was able to move out of the capital city of Ireland, which is where I was based and back home to my home county. Um, so I could avoid them really expensive rents that are currently up in Dublin. And I was able to put that money into investing because I didn't need all that money. So that's kind of how I was able to free up so much cash over the past couple of months to be able to put into this. And I just wanted to make the kind of money work for me a little bit while I had some extra cash coming in that, that I didn't exactly need to get by. So that's kind of where I was able to accumulate this money and be able to put it into investing. So initially why I started investing and kind of looking into investing was to kind of get myself uh, on track to save for a deposit for a house. I wasn't sure would that be in terms of an investment property or would it be in terms of the actual house that I want to live in. Um, but my kind of thesis has changed throughout my time of investing. I know it's only been a short horizon, probably just no, not even a year just yet. Um, but my whole kind of thesis has changed on do I want to get a property? Can I get better returns uh, investing here? Because obviously this has a bit of, been a bit of a crazy year. Uh, a lot of people have said that you could just, it was like throwing a dart at a dartboard and something will stick because pretty much any, st any stock that you bought this year uh, it's probably going to go up with, unless you're unlucky enough to get some of the losers. But pretty much everything has been a winner if you brought it around kind of March time because that's when the big hit came. And if you bought anything on that dip there, it's pretty much up now. Uh, there's been quite a recovery in, in a short space of time. So definitely not claiming to be an expert or anything. There's a lot of stuff I still need to learn. And hopefully this channel can be also me teaching some things to you, but also you teaching some things to me as well. And kind of build a little bit of a community here. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the portfolio here. I'll just make sure my screen is recording so you guys can see this and go through it with me. So on trading two and two here, if we scroll down to the bottom of the investments, we can see exactly how many things I have invested in. So we have currently 52 stocks that I'm invested in. Seeing this figure now, I actually wasn't aware it was that many stocks. Um, quite a few of them are kind of larger positions and some of them are, are quite a small percentage. Um, so we can kind of just scroll through here and we'll have a look at our, a couple of our stocks. I won't go through every one of them or this will be a very long video. Um, I may, may save that for future videos down the line where we'll take kind of more in-depth looks. But um, you can see Tess is making up 31% of my portfolio right now. Uh, there's been times where that's been about 40%, but as the price is quite high at the minute, I've kind of pared that back just a little bit. And while I'm speaking on the topic of Tesla as well, a good few people have been asking me and kind of my friend group, is it too uh, expensive to buy right now? But that's a whole nother video, so I'm gonna save that. Um, maybe in the next couple of days, you'll see, you'll see a video on that. I'm just kind of my thoughts on if Tesla is too expensive right now. Uh, but anyway, so we have Tesla, we also have Square, Neo, Disney. So Square, Neo, about that 10% range. Um, Disney around 4%, Apple around 4%, and then I'll just kind of scroll through here and you guys can have a look at some of them. A lot of them in that kind of 2% range and kind of smaller from there as well. So the kind of main way I invest here is in the form of pies. It's a very cool feature on Trading212. Two two. Um, so if we go up here and go to the pies, we can see I have three pies here. So the main one that I invest in with the most money in it there is my growth fund pie. Um, and then I also have an additional growth fund, which is just a little bit more riskier stocks. Um, I'll go into that in just a second. And then we also have this one I call the ArcG Genetics. It's not the exact ArcG ETF, um, but it's just modeled off Kathy Wood's ArcG. If you've never heard of them, again, I'll cover this in future videos, but it's too much to cover right now. But essentially it's a, 
there's an ETF that's focused around genetics and the whole genomic space. So I've taken the kind of top 10 stocks roughly from that one and I put them into this genetics fund here. And I've only had this for maybe a month or so and you can see the gains on that have been pretty good, 25%, definitely won't complain about that. But so yeah, uh, we'll just have a look at the growth fund for a minute here. And we'll go into the holdings and we can see here that Tesla is at 30% in this. It's also at 30% in my additional growth fund as well. So that's kind of how it averaged out to 30% uh, when we looked at my overall investments there. Um, then we can see, I'll just scroll through here because again, I don't go into everyone in detail. If there's any you guys see here that you want me to do a video on, you can let me know. But what I kind of want to take from this is that Tesla is, is the main one that I've been bullish on and where I've seen most of my gains here. If we just go back to my investments, even we'll see the full gains that I've had on Tesla. Uh, should be down the bottom here so four and a half thousand up 82 percent on that stock so that's basically where most of my gains have come here definitely don't take this video just go out and buy tesla right now and expect to see gains like this 82 percent obviously i bought the stock 82 percent less than what the price is now so i was able to get experience them gains uh, but i'll make a video as i said in the coming days on my thoughts on tesla is it still a buy going forward or is it too expensive right now Okay, so what can we take from looking at my portfolio there? Basically, I'm pretty bullish on the whole EV space. I currently have three EV stocks. I have Tesla, NIO, and I also have Xpeng as well. NIO and Xpeng are Chinese EVs, and Tesla is obviously in China as well, but mainly an American and kind of European um, electric vehicle maker. So they make about, up about 40% of my portfolio at the minute. So yeah, definitely quite bullish on them. Definitely not recommending anybody go out and just put 40% into EVs. As I said, a lot of the gains I've already experienced from these stocks. Um, so I need to do more analysis and kind of give more information on my kind of thoughts on these going forward. But as I said, this is all for entertainment purposes only. I do not recommend go out and copy anything I'm doing here. I always seek professional advice. So for those of you interested as well, I just want to give an idea of how, much, how many dividends I can actually get from this current portfolio. So it's actually not a dividend portfolio. It's mainly a growth portfolio. And that is where I expect to see the share price grow opposed to not really worrying about the share price too much and just expecting um, dividends uh, in, in payments but um, for those of you that aren't familiar with them two strategies I will do a video in the future covering off them both but yeah right now for this portfolio we can roughly see $160 a year in dividend payments not a whole lot considering how much is actually invested but as I said I'm mainly focused on the growth of the share price in this strategy opposed to the dividend income so that'll wrap it up for this first video. If you could do me a favor and leave a like on this video, I would definitely appreciate it. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're interested in this kind of content. As I did mention briefly, I am from Ireland as well. So I'm gonna try be trying to make some content specific to Ireland because I don't think there's that much out that much information out there right now um, when it comes to kind of individual investing and stuff like that. And I'll also cover off a little bit of cryptocurrency, maybe look into the real estate market as well. So I'll cover off lots of things on this channel. So if any of that interests you, as I said, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and uh, hopefully see you in some future videos.